and welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm here today with Jeff Klein, captain and owner of Hilton Head Sport Fishing, and tis the season, Jeff. Sure is, Sandy. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely, glad to have you. Glad to have you aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, my pleasure to be aboard your your ship this time. You are um, with uh, you. You have both the Gullah Gal and the True Grits. That's correct. And uh, the uh, they are located out of Shelter Cove. And mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about you. Well, we are a uh, charter fishing company. Uh, that has two boats. We're based out of Shelter Cove Marina, which is right across the street from Palmetto Dunes, kind of mid-island. And um, our boats are the Gullah Gal, and uh, the newest boat to the fleet is called True Grits. I happen to have, uh, be a John Wayne fan and, and also have twin girls, twin four-year-olds. Uh, Grits is also an acronym for girls raised in the South. So that's where we came up I with the name I was going to ask that, you that, so I'm glad you told me. Stick that in there real quick. <laughs> but... Um, we run private charters uh, for people, uh, groups of uh, one to six people. Uh, we typically run uh, four, five-hour trips. Uh, those would be our most common. Are they uh, primarily fishing trips, and are you, uh, do you find that um, these trips are um, uh, family-based, family-oriented? Is that... Is that a good, good, good approach to what you're trying to accomplish? That's a fair guess on your part. It absolutely is. You know, Hilton Head's really a family-based destination for vacations. And we really love to focus on particularly the kids, but we certainly invite the moms and the grandparents to join us as well. You know, there are a lot of charter boats on this island, I'd say in the 25 to 30 boat range. Um, most of them are smaller boats, in the 25 to, to 30 foot range. My boats are both in the 35-foot size. We've got a fly bridge, a lot of shade on board. Uh, we have a bathroom on that's board. That's key. It's a lot key of for us women. <laughs> it's key. <laughs> the moms do like the bathroom, that's true. Uh, so we have the ability to focus on the larger groups and uh, really provide them the space they need and the comfort. Because, you, you know, you add six people right. to a mate and a captain, you've got eight people on the boat. It can get pretty crowded when you're... Uh, wrestling with fish and, sure. and uh, just looking for a place to be. So having the bigger boats differentiates me a little bit right. from, from most of the uh, charter fleet here on Hilton Head. How far offshore are you, uh, are you finding that you go with the boats to, um, to have a good catch for the day or to be able to show people uh, uh, you know, a, a, a good time? That's a great question. There are different times of the year uh, offer different fish in different seasons. Sometimes we have to go 10, 15 miles offshore just to get to where the fish are. Fortunately, beginning in about May uh, and following through the summer and into the fall, uh, a lot of the fish move in close to shore. So we're able to catch uh, good quality fish in significant numbers uh, within a mile of shore. Sometimes we'll even stay in the sound on our shorter trips. Uh, the shortest trip I offer is a three hour trip. It's great for first timers, younger kids, maybe kids under 10 years old okay. in that area, or a, a couple, maybe a husband and wife right. who, who want to try a sunset trip, see a few dolphin, catch a few fish along the way. Uh, we'll do that right in Calabogie Sound. Okay. For an all-day trip, if I get a group of six uh, hardcore fishermen, uh, we can certainly take them 15, 20, 25 miles offshore and look for some bigger game. Right. Uh, the biggest game we have here are, are tiger sharks. And typically, we catch them in the 8 to 12 feet long range. Okay. Uh, they weigh about 300 to 600 pounds. But we have caught a few in that 15 foot range, getting up close to 1,000 pounds. Wow. So we do have some pretty big game wow. here. Wow, that's a, that's a big game fish. How far, um, how far down are those fish before you start seeing them? I mean, like, what's the, the um, depth that you're having to go in order to, to see, like, the tiger sharks? Tiger sharks, uh, we find, typically are in at least 50 feet of water or more. Okay. Uh, I tend to fish on the south end of the island, and we'll head off to uh, artificial reef. There are some man-made reefs here. Oh, uh, okay. I wasn't even aware of that. There, there are areas where we've, uh, and the DNR, Department of Natural Resources, has sunken truck tires, old barges, um, things like that to create a haven for barnacles and little fish to live okay. and the food chain then takes over and that provides a place for the bigger fish to come in and to get a snack when they get a little hungry. Uh, so we'll focus on those areas 
right. uh, when the uh, season is right to do that. Now, do people just um, go to the website? Do they call you? How, how do they approach you in order to, um, how do they know you're available? Gotcha. Uh, the best place to find me is certainly on the internet. You can search, uh, find a search engine and uh, search Hilton Head Fishing or Hilton Head Charter Fishing. Uh, any combination of those words will bring up uh, all of the charter operations on the island. Uh, my website, I have, happen to have two. Uh, I have a long one and a short one. <laughs> the short one is hhifish.com. That's, that's pretty easy that's to pretty remember. That's pretty simple, isn't it? <laughs> and once you get to that site, you can, you can click on the boat that you like, okay. and it'll take you to that boat's website and give you all the detail that you'd like. That's the best way. I am certainly reachable by phone. Uh, never leave my cell phone. Uh, the, the phone number uh, is 843-422-3430. And just call me and tell me you're interested in fishing, and we'll have a conversation based on what you want to do. We really There's try to tailor our trips to our customers. Okay, and then is there a difference between the boats? Is there, um, does one boat do a certain, certain thing and the other boat does another thing, or, or are they basically the same and, and, and either can, can um, allow for just the same, the same type of fishing? They're basically the same at this point. Okay. Uh, in past years, I've had boats of different sizes and different makes, and it was actually kind of difficult matching the right person on the right boat. Okay. However, since we've added the true grits to the fleet, I now have two 35-foot boats. Right. They're almost identical, and they're essentially interchangeable. So it really doesn't matter which boat you get on. Okay. The experience is going to be the same. Okay, so the trips can run anywhere from, and again, you base it on your clients, but the trips can run anywhere from a three-hour trip and going all the way to probably a whole day trip, I would imagine, mm -hmm. for some of the, the larger game. You sure can. Absolutely true. Okay. The, the three-hour trip, as I mentioned before, is the kind of the light, easy going, real close to shore. We're going to stay in the sound. And we typically catch smaller sharks, three and four feet long, 10 to 30-pound fish. Yeah. Um, there are a few Spanish mackerel and bluefish that are also close to shore. And sometimes we can catch a few of those on a short trip. The longer trips get uh, typically about an eight-hour trip is generally the longest trip we do. But if the right clients come along and they want to do uh, even longer than that, we do offer a 10-hour. Okay. Um, if, they, if they are just um, walking the, um, the docks at Shelter Cove, which it's, it's beautiful along Shelter Cove and there's restaurants and, and whatever, they see the boat. Can they just walk to the boat? and sure. sign, If the boat's there, obviously, there'll be somebody there right. that can sign them up or they can make their, their schedules um, on site. That, that's the other way to find me is to come to Shelter Cove. And hopefully the boat won't be there because that means I'm out fishing. That's right, and if, I hope you I hope you are out fishing. If you do catch me at the <laughs> if you do catch me at the dock, please come on up and say hello, and uh, we'd be glad to tell you anything you'd like to know about the charter, about the waters. Sometimes people just come up and say, "Hey, I want to uh, do a little fishing off of the beach. Can you tell me what the best bait is, or what fish are biting, or what hook or lure can I try?" Right. And they're not really intending to fish with me. I'm certainly happy to share what information we can to help, help right. them have a successful trip. But if we're not there and you see the sign for the boat, you just walk a few more feet into the Shelter Cove Marina store. Oh, okay. So the, and the store uh, is really our kind of home office. Okay, okay. And they book trips for us as well. They can answer any questions, and they're there from 7.30 in the morning till about 5 o'clock at night, okay. seven days a week. Okay, I wasn't uh, aware that that was also so, um, yeah, another, that's kind of our home form office of there. contact Shelter, for you. Yep. Yeah, okay, yep. that's yep. great. You know, um, on Tuesday nights, there's the, the Shannon Tanner show and, and the, the fireworks. fireworks. Do you have something for the fireworks? We do. Uh, it's a pretty popular. I have it on the website that uh, if you wanted to kind of see the fireworks from the boat as we were returning from the, the trip, um, we would run that three-hour trip, which we usually do in the evenings, 5 to 8 or 5.30 to 8.30. And then the fireworks often go off right at quarter of 9, 9 o'clock, as soon as it gets dark enough to see them. Okay. So Tuesday night evening three-hour shark fishing trip is a pretty <laughs> popular one. That books up pretty quickly. Yeah, I bet. Now, uh, um, obviously, visitors will love coming to the Gullah Gala or True Grits and, and, and the fishing charter um, you know, scene is, 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 I would imagine, is, is very popular for visitors. But 
I'm assuming that local people could also, you know, take advantage of, you know, your, your services. Certainly can. Absolutely. We don't discriminate against locals. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people do it the other way around. But, um, not at all. In fact, you know, a lot of locals either have their own boat sure. or have a friend who has a boat sure. and get a lot of fishing experience without having to pay for a charter. However, a lot of locals like to bring their family members in. Right. And when those family members do come in, and you've got a group, you want to entertain your grandkids or your children, right. calling a, a fellow like myself and putting them on a charter boat is going to assure a good quality time where you're not having to figure out if you've got your right. own gear. Be is in it, charge. Is it they rusty? don't have to be in charge. They can have a, 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 a relaxing time fishing with you at the helm. Exactly. Um, you give me a shout. We'll tailor make a trip based on your group. Is it a group of small children, um, boys and girls alike, moms and dads, are the grandparents coming to? Everybody's extremely welcome. We really, really focus on, on the family. Um, but for the locals, I think that's probably more pertinent than them fishing themselves would be when there's guests or family members in from out of town. Okay. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for being with me today. I do appreciate it. So you need to find the True Grits and the Gullah Gal, and you can find them online at Hilton Head Sport Fishing uh, or Fishing Charters. So thank you, and thank you so much for joining us at Talk of the Town, and we'll, we'll, be, back. we'll be back soon.